Earl Spence, Terrence Crawford this Saturday, Rob. World's excited. Uh, I want to know who's the bigger puncher, Rob. Like, you know, people, you know, look at Earl Spence, the eye collector. Terrence Crawford has stopped everybody at 147 pounds. Mm -hmm. Who would you describe as the bigger puncher? All right, so I'll play a little bit devil's advocate here. Mm -hmm. And I know I'm going to ruffle some feathers with these Spence and Crawford fans. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to say Spence is the better puncher. He's a harder puncher. Um, because his power to me is more of like a dead weight type power where Crawford is more of an explosive mm -hmm. type of power. So um, I think Spence is the stronger guy. But at the end of the day, he fought natural 147 pounders. Broke orbital bones, you know, cheekbones, and made great adjustments. And he has done what he has to do. Crawford, on the other hand, has stopped. His, his knockout ratio, I think, at 47 is 100%. 100%. But can we, like, I, I know I'm going to hear some shit in the comments about this, but I, did he really stop Porter, or did his dad stop it? Because... You know what I mean? Like, his dad clearly said that if he already had intentions of stopping the fight, if Craw if Spence, I mean, uh, uh, Porter was in any trouble. Mm. So, I could give him credit for it, but let's be honest, was he really hurt? So, I don't know. Now, knocking out, uh, uh, you know, the 140 pounders going up to 47, I can give you props for that because they, they still notable wins. But... I don't think that the same reactions of punches when you when you watch somebody fight they got power and watch the opponent when every time they either catch the shot or they land the shot mm -hmm. watch the body reaction like oh shit i'm not gonna get hit with those i don't want to get hit with those mm -hmm. i think spence favors that more than crawford do.